Ah, oh, what are you doing, Elodie? I'm trying to save those poor little bees from the varomite. Can't you see that it's more than 30 degrees? Uh, nowadays, it's getting hotter and hotter and your chemicals can't work. Come with me, I'm experimenting with a method that uses small mites. Guys, come join me at the University of Neuchâtel. Oh. So, what are varroa mites? Follow me, we are going to observe one that has just been sampled from a bee. Look, thanks to this binocular magnifier, we can see it's better. But Flavien, can this little bug be dangerous for bees? Varamites are about 1 mm length, but that doesn't prevent them from stinging the bees to feed on the fat bodies and the blood. It's true, over the last decade, 40% of bee colonies have disappeared. But beware, it's not just the fault of varamites, because the causes are multifactorial. Indeed, we could also cite pesticides widely used in agriculture. Because of this, we foresee a famine crisis and even a drop in the global GDP by $2.7 trillion. A small mite living in the soil called Strachiolelaps simitus seems to feed on varro mites according to some beekeepers. To prove this scientifically, we are assessing which kind of soil is the best for its breeding. But tell me, Flavien, how do we compare them? We need to take soil samples and count the mites. But aren't they hidden in the substrate? Anna, can you show us how it's done? We use this machine called the Macfadion and we place the samples in pots and the machine will generate heat and light which will drive the mites into other pots below making it easier to observe them. We need to observe them under a binocular magnifier if we want to see them because they're slightly smaller than the varroa mites. But Flavien, how can we tell if the varroa mites are being eaten by the Stratulator simitus? By identifying the characteristic injuries on varroa mites. To do that, we place them in boxes with the predatory mites, but we didn't find any. Oh no, but what about the field testing? Look, little voice, the predatory mites are placed beneath the house in the best soil so they can freely climb into the house. There is also a Vara counting board in order to monitor the Vara falls. Well, we have some doubts about the effectiveness of this methodology because the number of Vara mites is still increasing. If you are interested in learning more about it, come and join me in Freiburg. And don't forget to like this video to encourage us to keep persevering in saving the bees.